Hey everyone. So for today's video, we're gonna be having a look at how quiet is a Tesla. We'll drive through some different speed zones of takeoff, 50 kilometers an hour, 90, 100, 110, and uh, we have a live decibel tracker here, which I'll keep in the corner so that we can see at all times. And uh, let's see how quiet or loud it can be. All right, let's do this. Okay, so there are some considerations to take in point here. So right now, just sitting in the driver with the air con on, we're getting around 60 on the decibel meter. So to make sure it's accurate, let's turn the air con off, make it a bit more silent. Now sitting around the 37 mark. So let's put it in reverse and go for a little drive. Okay, so taking off went around 55. And let's see what it's like driving in a 50 zone. Okay, so sitting in a driving cruise at 50 kilometers an hour is landing us at 60 on the decibel meter. Okay, so here we are now in a Hyundai i20 a car with an internal combustion engine and we'll do the same test okay traveling along at 50 kilometers per hour and we're settling on 64 to 65 as an average okay so we're cruising at 70 kilometers per hour and the decibel level seems to be settling at 63 as an average Looks like 67 as the average. So here we are on the Kronana Freeway, now cruising at 100 kilometers per hour, and the decibel meter seems to be settling around 72 as an average. Cruising along here with autopilot, we can get an idea of the ambient cabin sound. I wouldn't say it's really about wind sound or wind resistance, sounds more like the sound of the tires along the road. 100 kilometers per hour and the DB is settling around 72. Okay, so here we are on the Cronana Freeway where it transitions from 100 to 110. All right. The decibel reader is settling around 71. Just get past this car and overtake. And let's see when we drop now. Seventy-one to seventy-two, give or take. And last but not least, traveling at one hundred and ten kilometers per hour, and we're settling around seventy-three. So what we'll do now is just give it an extended period where you can sit here and take in what it's like to sit in a Tesla Model Three on the freeway at one hundred and ten kilometers per hour. As you can see here, and to my surprise, there's very little difference between them. Tesla is noticeably quieter at lower speeds, but once you get to 100 and above, whether it's the sound of wind resistance or the wheels on the road, it's the same. So my personal preference when driving along in my Tesla is to have a fair lot of cabin noise anyway, more like this. So this video came about because Joe left a comment in the comments section on my last video about the cabin sound and hearing that there's uh, a lot of them with build quality issues because of wind. In my personal opinion, I don't think it's wind resistance. I think it's more just the sound of the tires that I'm hearing. Maybe I got lucky and maybe I've got a really exceptionally built model. Uh, I do know this is part of the Shanghai batch that came here to Perth Western Australia and so far I haven't had a single problem found nothing wrong whatsoever with my build quality but if you've got any questions anything that you want to know about mine please leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to make a video that can hopefully answer any questions that you might have so thanks so much for watching and of course as always make sure that you like and subscribe so that I can keep making some more of these videos but uh, hopefully you really enjoy and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Here we are. 
Okay, so to begin with, here we are sitting in the... Stop it on the com... Mm. Take three. If you... Mm. Let's go take five. No, let's go. Take seven. How quiet it can be. No. Take nine. Please make you... Also to subscribe if you want to see... I hope they gave you... Ah, was it recording? Always press record. Take 10. I think we got it. Yeah.